Hello and welcome, my name's David. There was a comment left on my triptych video which asked, is it possible to replace the image in the triptych without having to rebuild the three panels? What a great question. And you'd be pleased to hear the answer is, yes you can. Doesn't matter if it's one single frame, perhaps my frames video, or it could be multiple panels, it's going to be exactly the same. Right, let's take a look. We've got this image here, we've got three layers making up our three panels. This is the image I've selected. It is in layers. Now what I always do is check out the size of your destination. In other words, the triptych you're going to put it into, the single frame that you're going to put it into. Check the size of that. Now come to document, go down to resize and resize this image so it's roughly the same size. Once you've done that, head back up to document this time, we're going to go down to flatten. In other words, we're going to put it to one layer. Command A, Control A is going to put the selection right the way around it. Now that we've got a selection, we can use Command C, Control C. We can copy it. Heading back over to our triptych, let's zoom in. Command 1, Control 1, we'll go into 100%. Going to move it to the side. Select your first panel. I'm going to go for my top one, the left one. Heading up to Edit, we're going to go down to Paste Inside. What a fantastic job it does. It's gone inside the panel, it's gone inside the outline, as well as the drop shadow. That's done a really good job. Select in the middle panel. Let's go to Edit. Once again, we're going to go down to Paste Inside. That looks really good. Moving my way across just so we can see our end panel, selecting it. Let's head back up to edit. We're going to go down to paste inside. So not only has it gone inside all of the effects, it's been pasted in and every time it's pasted in, it's gone in as a child. Now, if we switch these off, let's go for the middle one. You can see the original is still underneath. Right, zooming out, Command-0, zero, Control-0. Zero. What we're now going to do is take a look at something else because they've been pasted in, but if I press V on the keyboard, you can see there's the Move tool. That's the size of the image going around there, that blue line. If I click on this one, it doesn't move. It stays exactly the same, which is good because now if I press Command or Control, select the pixel layer for the middle, selecting the pixel layer on the right so all three are now selected i can come to one of the corners i'm just going to press shift as well to maintain all the correct proportions if i lift it up you can see there it is there's the edge that looks really good so in other words it looks like one image so if you need to scale it for your triptych this is the best way to do it i'm going to use command z control z to put me back to this position here Right, let's uh, take a look. I am going to press shift. I am going to reduce it down a little bit. I'm going to move it across something in this area here. Would like the name of the restaurant there. The problem is, yes, I've lost his friend is now a bit over the edge. Uh, you've got quite a gap here as well. Not sure I like that. I'm going to lift it up and see how far over we can take it. If I take it to this position here, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Right, now clicking on the middle panel. The framework is around this. I can now move that across, just repositioning it, taking it into this area. Let's go to the top one, the left one. That's this panel on this side. I'm just going to move that over very slightly like that. I didn't want to see his arm sticking there. Just wanted up to the knee. That looks good. He's right on the edge. And if we come down to the bottom, the right one, I'm now going to move that across. I want to get rid of that gap. I also want to get rid of that white area. Plus this guy with that elbows, hands there, and I'm going to move that out into position. Brilliant. That all works out pretty well. And it still follows that curvature of the curb. Great stuff. Right, looking around. If you've seen the way we can adjust it on the panels, on the child layers, if we click on the right, I'm going to press and hold down command or control. Now I'm going to click on the middle. Now we're going to click on the left. Notice the way the framework is around here. You can now make this bigger or smaller. Once again, just pressing shift so it maintains all its correct proportions. Let's put it something like this. 
I'm just going to lift it up so it's in the middle and just taking it across somewhere. I've got a green line as well. There it is. So we now know it is exactly in the middle of our background. Okay, the effects come in around here. I'm also going to press H on the keyboard to give me the hand tool. Let's change these. Command 1, Control 1. Let's zoom into 100%. Right, clicking on the effects of the top layer. Outline. It's a painterly effect. It's got a bit of a canvas effect to it as well. So let's change it to a canvas style. Not sure I like the outline with this. So I'm going to untick it. Let's go to 3D, tick in the box, and there it is. Taking the radius up, I'm going to leave the lighting as it is with the direction. That's this one down here. Just going to move it across there. That looks pretty good. Let's head down to the drop shadow, that outer shadow. I'm going to pick up my offset tool. Just going to lift it up very slightly, just moving it out slightly so it comes over the edge here. Perhaps taking up the intensity a notch or two as well. That looks good. Click and close. Now you don't need to repeat the process to the other panels because all you need to do is click on the effects, click hold down your mouse, drag it down. I'm, you can see that very faint effects there. Come into this layer, we can drop it in. Clicking down, holding down your mouse or pen, come into this layer, drop it in. Command zero, control zero. There it is, that looks pretty good. Let's just fold these up now, they're in position. So there it is, that's replacing the image. Don't forget as well, we can come to, I've got the move tool. You can make this panel, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can do whatever you want with them. Just gonna pop it back into its position. You can even put them on a slightly different level, just taking that up, clicking on the right one, and you might want to take that down. The choice is yours. You've got complete flexibility with this. It really is a, a great way of working and replacing your images. Doesn't matter if it's one frame. It doesn't matter if it's multiple frames. So go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon. You'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.